What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 24-7 Sports Channel for yet another big-time commitment. We are your host and your source for all things football and basketball recruiting. Earlier tonight, you saw Justin McBride make his commit to Oklahoma State, and now we've got four-star, seven-foot center, Yusuf Sangare, ready to make his announcement. The Our Savior Lutheran in New Heights Lightning Big Man is here at his school in the Bronx with his teammates. Yusuf, what's going on tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. Thanks for doing this with us. Yeah, of course, man. Now, Yusuf, I know this has been a long journey for you. You grew up in Mali. How did you first find and fall in love with the game of basketball? Oh, uh, I started playing basketball 2017, you know, mm -hmm. but before that I played soccer, you know, in my country everybody plays soccer. So every now, every day I went to play soccer, then one day somebody told me, yo, you too tall to play soccer, why you don't go play basketball? I said, ah, that's cool, I'm gonna try. So yeah. I went to play basketball a little bit, then two weeks after my coach told me, yo, you believe in me? I said, yeah, ah, if you believe in me, I'm gonna make you super strong. I said, all right, that's cool. Then um, 2018 or 19, I played a little bit for my national team. Then after that, I had a scholarship uh, from Bella Vista, Arizona. That was my first school. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's you know that's pretty much. And that was your that was your first time coming to the United States to play, right? Yeah, that was my first time. I've been here like for two years and a couple months. No. Well, we got to shout out that coach who told you he'd make you a superstar. He must have known what he was talking about after your uh, your career playing soccer as a youngster. Now, before we talk about your finalists and you, you make your announcement, I'm sure there is a list of people that you would like to thank. So I want to give you an opportunity to do that right now and thank whoever has helped you along the the uh, this journey of yours. Yeah, yeah sure. First of all, I want to thank God you know, for life, for my family. For everything, for the, for every opportunity he gives me. Then I want to thank all my coaches, everybody who helped me, who supported me. Coach John, you know, Coach Dre, Charlie Bamania, who's my guy. Uh, Coach P. Wagner, you know, um, you know, everybody who helped me in my career. Coach Dana, Coach Shandu. Yeah, I want to thank everybody who helped me. And big thanks to my family who supported me. Very cool, very cool. Now you are down to three finalists. You've got Seton Hall, you've got Connecticut, you've got Providence. So this is the moment, Yusuf, take your time with it, but tell us where are you gonna be playing your college basketball? Uh, for my next chapter, I will be playing my college basketball with you, Conrad. <laughs> Well, yeah. congratulations. You got Coach helping you there. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, now, sure. Yusuf, what was it about Coach Hurley and the Huskies that made you decide to commit to them? Oh, uh, first of all, I've been in, uh, at UConn twice. Like, I did two visits. So I had a chance to talk to the coaches and the staff, and I had a chance to watch how they develop, you know, the players. So... After that, I had a great conversation with the both, with the coach and the staff. And for me, it's a great place for me to get to to get developed and to go to the league. That's my goal. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a great goal to have. Now, the last question I have for you for all those UConn fans who have been blowing up our social media all day, who are watching online right now, excited about this recruiting class. What would you tell them that they can expect in Yusuf Singare? What kind of game do you have? You know, the players who doesn't care about the state, you know, the players mm -hmm. who want to win every time, you know, I want to have my teammates. And, you know, they they got a double coming, man. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Yusuf, it's time for you to go celebrate with your coaches and your, your teammates. Thank you so much for doing this and congratulations on your commitment. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right, now here is a look 
at what UConn is getting. As a reminder, this is UConn's fifth commitment in the national class of 2023. They are only they are one of only two programs in the country, along with Duke, to now hold five pledges inside the 24-7 national rankings. In Yusuf Singare, they are getting an athletic and mobile seven-footer who can protect the rim, who can be a vertical spacer, and who is an outstanding rim runner. He runs the floor exceptionally well, and he's going to have a lot of value on both ends of the floor. In fact, I think his defensive upside may even be higher than his offensive. He's going to have to continue to to, uh, build up his body and gain weight, but this is a player who has made massive strides over the course of the last two years and has all the characteristics to be an impact player on both ends of the floor. And again, he is the fifth prospect to commit to UConn as Dan Hurley has put together this Fab Five of sorts, if you've been watching the social media and their photo ops during those official visits, uh, that UConn fans should be very, very excited about. Thank you for tuning in tonight. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to like, subscribe. We are going to continue to bring you all of the breaking news in both basketball and football here on the 24-7 Sports channel. And there's even more content on 247sports.com where there's a commitment story and further analysis on what Yusuf Sangare can bring to the UConn Huskies. Thanks and good night.